Okay, how long ago, if you don't mind me asking? Six years. Holy mother. That must have been some mashup. Publicity and the best uh, thing we've had is the guys advertising that. Their best advertisers are their customers. They all bring in their friends. They get a good deal. They know they're going to be looked at, but none of them are going to be stuck. We never want to become millionaires, and we just want to give a good deal. That's how we're here so long. We do that, and we continue to as long as we possibly can, and possibly can, and we're now into third generation families. So you used to have people coming in here, I want to buy a bike, my dad bought a bike from you, and now they're coming in, my grandfather had his bike from me, he's trying to come down here, so we're around third generation. At any stage, we have that cut down to uh, a, a fine act, really. There's, um, I've not used it, it's always a problem to me. Um, in my enthusiastic days, I would have got the back of this place, so uh, there's some space out there, and raised it to the ground and rebuilt it as a new premises at the back. But at this stage of my life now, uh, coming near retirement, we have a line, at least one line free at all times for our incoming calls. So I say telephone would be the, the thing. But it's got postage and oil and petrol, and there's no waste. Don't look at the camera at all. Right? <laughs> <laughs> right, now, when I say tell me about yourself, tell me about your family, like, kind of quickly, but... My name is Freddie Foster. I live in 70 down the road by the I've lived there for nearly 30 years. I'm 53 years old now. I work in Jack Dolan Motorcycles. I have done them. Worked there for the last 35 years. And before that, I worked in another place called Scooter Sales and Service in Western Road with Jack. Um, they went into voluntary liquidation at that stage, and I just got married, so we'd no money, and uh, you had to make a make a week's wages. So Jack opened up on his own, and I went with him. Uh, Jack's a millionaire now, and I'm not a half millionaire yet, <laughs> but I hope that will all change in the near future. So I'm a mechanic, but now is uh, being promoted from that bracket, and I'm in the shop uh, selling bikes and dealing with the world purchase financials. Uh, we. We worked that through a uh, work for this firm who we've used for the past 30, maybe 36 ah! years. Percent would be about a rough average of what would be accepted out of 100 percent. So that's the way that end of it works. Working uh, with motorcycles, I always like working with your hands. Uh, I particularly like working with the job because a lot of the time we take the job not too seriously and it seems to work not too seriously and it seems to work better than everybody sort of being bosses like as we'd say years ago too many chiefs and having up indians it's a light hearted type of company when i say light hearted i mean we treat the customers uh, as friends and pals and their sons and grandchildren are coming into us now and them particular kids are now buying bikes over. When, as I said, when I started with Jack, uh, would have been about 19 years of age when we opened, uh, Jack opened on his own. And then you have the fathers and the sons of the of those fathers buying bikes over. Now, recommended to being good to the customer, like having a good working relationship with them. I've been here nearly 30 years, and I'm still have a Honda 50 that I bought off you now seven years ago. And she's going like a dream. That's about your fourth hand of 50, isn't it? It is. Can I have it in for service? Right. Can Peter, it? can you book Mr. Martin in for service? Yes, yes. Three years. Took 17 years. 17, you see. And the dad here, your father, and he's, and he's walking through the leaf little bits and pieces here. Drop a bite to me down. And, uh, about three days' time, you have wood. How much would it be a week? Uh, but you get this boy for not even a week. Great. Yeah, we have to look at the camera. You're going to interview Peter Nolan. <laughs> you're not supposed to take your interview. Don't come around. Is that on? No. I live in 39 Watergate Estate, Tallah. I'm living there now. I've gone on 15 years. I married Adrian, my wife. Uh, my father owns a business here, Jack. I'm working full time here in the region of 
20 years. Um, I have four children, two boys and two girls. Brandon, Miriam, Lisa and Peter. Uh, I'm very enthusiastic about the motorcycle trade. I like getting involved. In like 20 years has definitely come on. Um, style of motorcycles, different type of person. We've dealt with middle-aged to elderly people. Now most of our trade is done with young people. The most of our sales, I would say, are to 16 to 21 year olds, mainly mopeds and small CC motorcycles. No, there is a lot of wastage with the way things are stored. I think everything should be put and store wise, there should be a store on one side of the showrooms and sales on the other side. That's just the way I think it should be done. Um, I like, as I said, I'm very enthusiastic. I like everything to be done right. My day would revolve around stores, um, ordering, invoicing, stocking, pricing. That's basically what my end of things are. I've okay. uh, got the system up and running now with Freddie and Jack. I wouldn't think we'll get the hang of it. So I have a book that I just let them write down and I look after the computer and it myself. Okay. <laughs> 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 No. Can I get you answering the phone or something? I look Is that realistic enough? <laughs> Yeah, you need to put your skin out. Come on, then, hook straight out. And without that, how many have I got stuck? Fuck all. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> Something like that is really I have to go to the Well, we can try that. It's just me. <laughs> Looks good. You're far? Yeah, just, I don't know.